Hello. Just want to wish a happy new year to you all. All the best for 2022. This is going to be a reading for the earth signs for the month of January. Just a general reading, what to kind of expect. See what kind of comes out in the cards. Hope everyone had an amazing new year and wishing you great abundance and many good things and blessings for the new year. So we've got temperance off the hop. You could have been dealing with the Sagittarius. We also have the devil in reverse. So Capricorn energy right away. Um, so I feel like what you could have been dealing with in the past was maybe a toxic situation. Looks like though with temperance, you're over it for 2022 and a new month, new year. You just want to start fresh. Look, look past whatever illusions or whatever was going on in the past. So we got the Queen of Cups. So there you are looking quite abundant, whether you're male or female. Yeah, so I think with this here, what happened in the past was you had someone come in and give you a faulty love offer. Uh, this person could have basically offered you the moon and the stars and then it just lacked like substance, like a sort of commitment. Five of Cups in reverse, they could have had multiple options and just like made you one of those options. Maybe you just decided you had enough, so you decided to let go of it. Then we've got the Tower, so you could be dealing with the Scorpio here. With the Cup energy, you could be dealing with any water sign. Um, we have Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. But what I'm feeling from this is basically this person had options and they made it known to you that they had options. So it just seems like for this new month, new year, you're moving forward, you're over it. Financial abundance comes out right away, so you're definitely just going to shuffle these a little bit here. You're definitely looking and going to get new offers coming in, new commitments. Maybe you're starting a new business, uh, maybe you have a new job. Whatever it is for you, maybe you got promoted at your job, congratulations. Um, spirits applauding you. Pay attention to the signs. So right now you could be receiving a lot of signs from your guardian angels or spirit divine just letting you know. Kind of maybe the background of the situation, whatever pertains to you. If this isn't your story, please don't make it fit. Leave it for someone else. Um, but if it does, next we got same sex relationships. So this person could have had multiple options that were um, either of the same sex or they had both. Maybe you're unaware of this. Step out of your comfort zone. So Spirit's saying during this time, it's really important for you to try something new. Believe in yourself. Wow, beautiful message. A passed on loved one is with you right now. So whoever I'm reading this for and it's resonating with, if you have a passed on loved one, whether it's a friend or a family member, someone you lost, um, they're with you right now just looking out for you. At the bottom of the deck, we've got twin flames and new relationship. Amazing. So I feel like after all this strife and conflict, this seems like it was more of a past situation for most of you. Um, could have been something that was an issue in 2021. But it looks like for January coming up or at least a part of this next month and next year, you're going to meet someone new the bottom we've got I fell in love with someone else so your person from the past could have had multiple options and could have been honestly maybe just more connected to someone else family isn't blood wow so family isn't always blood just something to pay attention there maybe you kind of learned this lesson over the past year Maybe you've created some really close friendships with people that aren't actually your, like, blood relatives, but they're, like, family to you. Um, but Spirit's encouraging, like, that doesn't mean anything, right? You don't necessarily have to share an, a last name with someone for them to be, like, family with you. Only you know your relationships. Unexpected finances. So, wow, with the financial abundance and unexpected finances... I know earth signs for the most part seem pretty grounded and they're big on 
stability and dependence. So there's a really positive, strong message, something you can look forward to for the new year. With this financial abundance going on, it might be time to move. Um, maybe you realize or you want to move when this comes in for you. All right, let's hop into some more tarot. What I'm feeling though, basically off the hop is, yeah, you definitely could have been in a situationship or a third party relationship. You could have been the third party or you could have been placed in one without even knowing. Um, but your focus for the new year and at least for January for all the earth signs is really going to be your coins, your stability, your independence. With the seven of cups here, spirit's going to grant you that wish. Basically, they just want you to walk away from anything that no longer serves you. Eight of coins, magician. So you're going to have the ability to manifest whatever sort of stability or abundance it is that you're looking for. Spirit just told me to say, um, think big, dream big, really go after your goals. 2022 is a year of duality. So for those that are in separation and wow, we've got at the bottom. So we've got Capricorn on the board and now we've got Taurus as well with the Empress. Um, so I could directly be talking to a Taurus right now. You could be the one that's deciding to get your life together and really go after your independence versus like a love relationship during this time for the earth signs if you are single some of you could just not be dating at all um, but that's when it's going to happen that your true twin flame is going to come in wow nine of cups so it's coming it's on its way all you need is that one more cup so when love comes in and after you get your kind of I just heard like kind of get yourself like stable as to where you want. Maybe you're trying to level up or just like you have higher standards after coming out of the last relationship. So you want to be a certain way before you even think about jumping into a relationship. Yeah, so we've got the seven of swords in reverse. This previous relationship just caused you a lot of drama, stress, chaos, um, with the Seven of Swords, the person you're with could have been your age or could have been older from what I just heard. Three of Cups in reverse, so they definitely made you an option. They totally just strung you along. They could have gave you a lot of false promises. Eventually, it was something you realized, and it looks like for most of you, with the Magician there, you like really removed yourself from the situation and decided to make a change. And we got the Ace of Cups at the bottom. So just know that your last cup with the Nine of Cups here, that makes the Tenth Cup. That's all you're missing right now is love. And it's Spirit saying once you feel like you've got all your Nine Cups in a row, your Ducks in a row, then um, that's when your person's going to come in for you. But Spirit, it's all about divine timing, right? So they're really just like confirming that. If you know you're kind of at a point in your life where you're working on say getting a project off the ground or um getting a promotion at your job or something like that some sort of level up or you want to go back to school or you're finishing school spirit's saying they're giving you that time to really make sure that you're able to get that done and then when that's all done that's when that ace of cups that love cup's going to come in for you that love offer wow so we've got the lovers at the bottom could be dealing with the Gemini, but signs, if not even a Gemini, just the fact is your love's coming in for you. So that's beautiful. That's a really beautiful message. So Herman at the bottom. Now we've got all the earth signs on the board, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. You could have been in self-isolation, hermit mode, kind of just working on whatever it is, this new endeavor, idea. Maybe you've been working long hours at work. Yeah, so at the bottom of the deck here, we've got the Knight of Swords in reverse. So whoever it was from your past was just coming in with complete BS. Um, I think it maybe took some of you a bit to realize it. But once you did, you decided to cut off the situation and just walk away. And that's when you started to notice that maybe you went from Seven of Cups in reverse energy feeling like every time you achieve something... 
it was like every time you moved maybe a couple steps forward you went five steps backwards for whatever reason um spirits confirming though by staying in the past situation those negative cycles just had you feeling stuck um you could also just been really upset or just with everything going on it could have really just changed your life I just heard like it could have changed a lot of aspects of it. But really, once you got away from that and you ended and closed the cycle for good. You started to see you didn't have seven cups backwards. You actually had almost every cup that you desired or needed. You just really had to place that energy and effort into yourself instead of another. So I feel like for some of you, that was the big lesson you might have learned in 2021 was just that self-love and self-care is the most important because essentially if you don't have your life in order, you're not going to find someone that does. It's always going to be someone that leaves your life just a little bit tangled up. And wow, at the bottom, we've got this. So you're a star. So whoever I'm talking to, um, you belong to shine. Whether that's in the public or not, you are someone that's meant to really put your light out there. And what I just heard, this person could have dimmed your light. 11 11 on the clock there so they could have really been someone that tried to diminish or hide you for how beautiful and like amazing of a person you were you could have been surrounded by that your whole life is what i just heard fool in reverse yeah so people didn't want you to have this new beginning could have been this third party situation from the past um you could have been dealing with the pisces as well but essentially with it in reverse, someone was trying to stop you, but you're the star. So no matter what, you're on your path. You're connected to divine and you kind of know where divine is leading you in this time. It's like, you know, but you don't know, but you're ready for the ride. Yeah, so definitely could have been dealing with the Pisces. We got double Pisces energy around the Ace of Cups, or it could mean that your person that you're about to meet is a Pisces if you don't know one from the past. Hangman, that was you in the past feeling stuck. Moon in reverse. So the situation you were dealing with or the person you were dealing with had a lot of secrets. A lot of past stuff you just didn't know about. You decided to take <clears throat> your one sword you had left and really just put an end to the situation. Wow. And then we got the death card. Also got the two of coins. So this person could have tried to hold you back financially even is what I just heard. With the death card, you put an end to the situation. Um, so I just heard like it could be as far as say you were dating someone in the past. They could have tried to even like make you look bad to people you worked with and stuff. Um, or people you planned on collaborating with or teaming up with and they try to do that to slow your pentacles down to really make it so that you didn't have those opportunities yeah so with the pope in reverse they're really acting unfairly they weren't being a fair kind compassionate like just person and and being a spiritually connected person they were all concerned about their own pentacles and not actually what you were doing with yours um, so signs across the board, we've got a lot of air and we've got a lot of water. So you could have been dealing with either of those signs. Could also have been dealing with the fire sign though. There's a little bit of that. So the emperor, your true person's coming in. You just really have to stay strong and keep moving forward on the path. Spirit says that's going to be your main theme for this whole month of January and continuing on into 2022 is just self-growth, development stability independence i just heard is a big theme for some of you and spirit's gonna help get you there let's pull a couple messages to finish off the reading but so far i just feel like that's a really good reading and saying even for you as an earth sign maybe any past resentments you held on to in the past you're no longer you're just deciding to let it all go first message out we've got divine union so like spirit said before this is confirmation your person's coming in in 2022 with it being 2022 it's like almost a year for i feel like twin flame union 
a lot of people awoken thinking they're with a twin flame before just to realize that this person could have been a true divine counterpart whether it was masculine or feminine but they weren't like living in their light side they were acting in their shadow side whoever i'm speaking to could be a light worker if you had an answer to the question or a question it is no A surprise blessing is coming. So Divine is saying, for those of you that are on your path, continued your cycles forward and really grew from the past situations, um, good things are coming. Wow. Double confirmation. A big opportunity coming. So we have a surprise blessing is coming and a big opportunity. So something really amazing is about to happen for someone out there. children so some of you could have children with this past person um if you don't and you don't have children they could have kids or maybe in the new year you could be expecting and wow so we have if you have one more question i want you to ask yourself it right now i'm going to take about five seconds there The answer is yes. So that's a really beautiful way to finish the reading. Overall, it looks like it's going to be a really positive month after coming out of a lot of struggle and conflict. Spirit's saying you just have a lot of blessings and good things to look forward to. Just keep on your path away from the conflict, away from the third party situations. And for some of you, it looks like you're just going to de deconnect from dating for a little bit and really focus on getting those nine of cups in order but once you do spirit says that's when they're going to bring in your ace of cups your true love and we've got twin flames here right so and divine union so that is a beautiful way to finish the reading that means your person is coming in in 2022 i hope this is an ongoing theme the year of duality for the true twin flames it's just going to be a year of love. It's going to be beautiful. And I just think that's a really positive reading. If you haven't yet, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you next time. Thank you so much and all the best for the new year.